Sears Radio Theater tonight presents host Vincent Price with a tale of mystery. Ellie, you're putting us on. I am not, I swear. My fingers are barely touching the pointer. What sort of message? I don't know. Let's find out. Just be still and concentrate some more. The Ouija Spells Murder will begin after this message from your local station. This is Vincent Price. The nights are getting dark so early now. This is Ellie Sims' first thought as she locks up the bookstore, leaves the friendly lights of the shopping mall, and steps out into the dark, deserted city street to wait at the corner bus stop alone. Ellie sits down on the bench to wait. The bus should be coming along any moment. She smiles as she recalls a frivolous purchase made during her afternoon lunch break. A Ouija board. An old-fashioned parlor game. She imagines her grandmother once whiled away slow, sunny afternoons, sitting at a lace-curtained window with a friend, the Ouija board between them on their laps. Their hands poised delicately on the pointer as they asked it to spell out the answers to blushing questions. Tell me, Ouija, do I have a favorite bow? When we go to the band concert in the park next Sunday afternoon, will he hold my hand? They wait patiently until at last the pointer slides hesitantly across the board to spell out the desired answer. Yes. Ellie shivers suddenly in her winter coat. It's getting colder and darker. She wishes the bus would come along. There's a newspaper vending machine beside the bench. She could at least read a bit of the paper under the corner streetlight while she waits. She walks over to the machine, fishing a coin from her purse, drops it into the slot, and lifts the lid to take out the paper. Only then do her eyes focus on the bold black headlines splashed across its front page. Another body found. Seventh young woman victim of sidewalk slasher. Which brings us to as good a place as any to begin our story. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Brought to you five nights a week by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops. Your hosts, Lorne Green. I'll bring you stories of the Old West and the New. Andy Griffith with a look at the funny side of life. Vincent Price with tales of mystery and suspense. Cicely Tyson with stories about love, hate, and related things. Richard Whitmark. I'll bring you stories of pure adventure. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, The Ouija Spells Murder by Shirley Gordon. Our stars, Louise Heath and Joan McCall. A young woman sitting in a bus, riding through dimly lighted streets. She gets off at her stop, shivering in a sudden icy wind, and hurries home, clutching a Ouija board. Is that you, Ellie? Me? You're a little late. I know. I must have missed my regular bus somehow. I had to wait almost a half hour for the next one. How grim. Grimmer than you think. The street's so dark and deserted outside of the mall, and there wasn't another soul around at the bus stop. <laughs> With all those terrible murders lately. <laughs> There's been another. It's all over the front page of the paper. Oh, dear. Ooh, how awful. Well... No good dwelling on it. 
What do we have for dinner? Well, since you were late, I went ahead and combined our leftovers into a casserole. It's already in the oven, okay? Great. I'll do the salad. It's done. Marvelous. I think I'll miss my bus every night. Don't push your luck. Oh, what'd you buy? Open it and see. You sure? I bought it for us. Really? Oh, it's a new jigsaw puzzle. I hope it's easier than the last one. I nearly went blind. It's not a new jigsaw puzzle. A Ouija board? I've heard of them, but I don't think I've ever actually seen one before. I thought we might have some fun with it. How does it work? You just ask it questions and it spells out the answers. What kind of questions? I don't know. We'll find out. Well, let's give it a try right after dinner, shall we? Bill's going to drop over. He'll be intrigued. <laughs> Grandmothers had more patience. We're too used to instant pictures on the TV screen. Hmm, maybe you're not asking it the right questions. I'm asking it. Is my boss going to give me a raise? That's the right question as far as I'm concerned. It says to start out with simple yes or no questions. A simple yes is all I'm asking for, Ouija. But you have to give the pointer a little push in the right direction. But that would be cheating and it wouldn't be any fun. Oh, come on, Ellie. You don't really think that thing's going to start moving by itself, do you? No, but... Well, I don't think you should know that you're pushing it. I think you have to keep concentrating hard until your subconscious starts pushing it. All right, then. I'll just sit here and quietly munch on my cheesecake and let you two concentrate on concentrating. Good. Come on, Anne. Close your eyes. And this time, let's really stay absolutely still and keep our minds focused completely on the point. But I have been concentrating as hard as I can. It's moving. You're pushing. I am not. You must be. But I'm not. I swear. <laughs> Come on now. One of you has to be. I think it's starting to spell out something. F. I. In D. Find. It's going to tell me to find a new job. There you are. It is your subconscious. You probably really want to quit your job and find a new one. I do not. My subconscious doesn't know what it's talking about. Be quiet, you two. Maybe we're getting a message of some sort. Oh, come on, Ellie. You're putting us on. I am not. I swear. My fingers are barely touching the pointer. What sort of message? I don't know. Let's find out. Just be still and concentrate some more. I'm not making a move. I'm really not. Shh. T. H. E. Find the... I'll bite. Find the what? Be quiet, Bill. K. I. L. L. Kill? C. E R. Killer. Find the killer. I was only asking it about my job. Hmm. Now that's funny. What's funny? Oh, all the time you two have been fooling around with that thing, and I've been sitting here having my coffee and cheesecake. I, I haven't really been able to keep my eyes off the front page of this paper. And thinking about those murders. Then it's your subconscious that was the strongest force in the room. And the Ouija board picked up on it. Well, let's face it. All of our subconsciouses are probably thinking the same thing. We're all wishing they'd find that killer. But it's uh, still kind of remarkable. The pointer began moving so fast I couldn't keep my fingers on it. I know. Me too. The power of the subconscious. I'm not going to knock that. Let's see if it'll spell anything else, okay? All right. But I think I'd better watch my thoughts. Let's all be quiet and concentrate. On what? The murders? I'm trying not to think about them. Concentrate on whatever message the board has for us. Do you have anything more to say to us, Ouija? Oh, Ellie, really? <laughs> Next thing you know is you'll bring home a crystal ball. Shh, both of you. Ouija, do you have anything more to tell us? G O T. God, no, wait. 
moving back to O again. G O T O. Go to Bill. You don't look at my subconscious. Yes, you do. C A L O U. No. No, it's it's changing the last letter. To a V. C L O V. C R. Clover. Go to Clover. What does that mean? I have the slightest. <laughs> and how about uh, Clover Heights? A new housing track? What made you think of that? I don't know. It just popped into my head. It's the only Clover around here that I know of. But why is it telling us to go there? You don't suppose that was the second part of the same message, do you? What do you mean? Put them together. Find the killer, go to Clover. You mean the murderer is in Clover Heights, and the only one who knows about him is your friend Ouija? Look, it wasn't my idea to play detective with the silly thing. Then let's not. Let's let's put it away and turn on the TV. Or we'll play a nice, friendly game of three-handed rummy, okay? Okay. Only, only you're curious, right? Right. <laughs> so am I. So let's all jump in my car, drive over to Clover Heights, and find the killer. No. But let's at least see what else my friend Ouija has to say. Just for fun? Some fun. Well, you might say it beats curling up in bed with the latest Hardy Boys. <laughs> Especially considering Ann's cheesecake. Don't let him fool you, Ellie. He's just as curious as we are. I think so, too. Yes, but curiosity kills. Remember? Contrasting slacks and reversible vests make six different outfits. The four-piece vested suit. It should be the suit you own. On sale for $89 until February 24th in larger Sears men's stores. Style, sense, satisfaction. Sears men's store. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Paint it. And love it during Sears Home Center Sale. If your walls need a facelift, Sears has something to lift your spirits. $4 off every gallon of Sears Fashion Flat and Semi-Gloss Latex Paint. Plus, save $100 on a one-horsepower safety-shrouded compressor. Now just $249.99, complete with air hose, air chuck, and 12-gallon tank. So paint it. And love it during Sears Home Center Sale till February 24th at most Sears retail stores. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. diamond jewelry up to one carat is 20% off till February 24th. That's 20% off diamond solitaires, pendants, earrings, bracelets, stick pins, and fashion rings. So give her a diamond from Sears, and she'll remember this Valentine's Day forever. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. They sit there, the three of them, hardly daring to breathe. The Ouija board waiting a question seems to be a tangible, living thing. Absolute stillness for what seems an incalculable time. Then it moves. G. E. T. Get. P. O. L. I. No, sure. C. E. Police. Get police. So now we're going over to Clover Heights, find a policeman, and tell him our Ouija board says the killer is around there someplace, and all we have to do is find him. Find the killer. Go to Clover. Get the police. 
That sounds like what we're supposed to do, all right. You have to tell us more than that, Ouija. Clover Heights is a big area. And we don't really even know if Clover means Clover Heights. Yeah, Ouija. You've got to stop being so vague. Where exactly are we supposed to find the killer? You thought we were kidding, but it, but it looks like you're, it's going to answer you. This better be good. The point is moving so fast, but, but it isn't spilling out anything. Seems to be very agitated. Oh, maybe I hurt its feelings. Sorry, Ouija, old boy. Hey, it's, it's starting to spell something now. S-K-O-L. Skull. <laughs> well, now we know what the Ouija is. A thirsty Scandinavian. And he has a point. Why don't I fix us all a nightcap? Wait, wait. It's, going, it's spelling something more. S-K-O. School again. Ouija wants a double. No, no, no. no. It's circle back to O again. It's S-K-O-O-L. School. Do you think it means S-C-H? School spelled phonetically? Is there a school in Clover Heights? Yep, right smack in the middle of it. If the school was there to begin with, they're building the housing development around it. Now, that's something I didn't even know. Neither did I, and um, I would also think that even my subconscious would know how to spell school. All right. Assuming that school, however you spell it, is some kind of, well, let's say, legitimate clue, what does it mean? That the killer is hiding out there? Maybe. I don't know. Let's see if the board is going to tell us anything more. Oh, I'd almost just assume it didn't. Put your hands back on the pointer, Anne. I can feel, I can feel it beginning to move already. A, L, L, E, Y. Allie, correct spelling this time. There's more. H-O-U-S. That's all? No E? But it must mean house. Phonetic spelling again. School. Alley. House. We could drive over and see. See what? If there's an alley with the school. And if there's a house by the alley. And if there is? Well, the board said we should get the police. Oh, man, now I know I need a drink. The paper says the police are desperate for clues. Yeah, I don't think they mean that desperate. But uh, we can't just ignore all this information. I, I doubt that what you have would be classified as information. But according to the paper, the police are even following up on every crank call they're getting. Now, that's a classification you might qualify under. Look, all I know is I'm much too stimulated right now to just go to bed and forget all this, so, well... Why don't we uh, take a drive over to Clover Heights and, and uh, just look around? Uh, all right. I think you both could do with a little fresh air. And if we can find a cozy bar afterwards, I could still do with that drink. <laughs> What it's worth. Here we are. Clover Heights. <sighs> it's so dark. I guess they haven't got all the electricity in yet. Not here where the newer houses are going in anyway. Should be plenty of light up by the school, though. I hope so. Anyway, we're just going to drive through for a quick look, see? If there's a cop around, he's liable to haul us in for trespassing. Better a cop around than a killer. There's the school. Drive around it. See if there's an alley. But there really isn't any point. There is an alley. Looks like it goes all the way behind the school. You could call it a driveway. I'd call it an alley. A very dark alley. Drive through. Let's just see. We will get taken in for trespassing. So, what are we proving? We found the alley, and on one side there's a school... And on the other side, look, a house. School Alley House. And nine of us has ever been here before. And how do you explain it? Uh, coincidence. And let's get out of here. Yes, let's. But how can you explain it? I can't. And whenever anything happens that I can't explain, I figure it's a good time to have a drink. Let's go find that cozy corner bar I promised myself. I'd say the only thing this whole little escapade proves is my faithful old dog devotion to the fair Anne. For which I thank you. Again. 
Do you have to admit, Ellie, Bill's been a brick to go along all the way with our fun and games tonight, hasn't he? Yeah. Okay. Ellie, what's the matter? I think we ought to tell the police. But what would you tell them? That, that your Ouija board told you all this? All right. So they think I was some kind of weirdo. But they would still check out the house. Just in case. Find the killer. Go to Clover. Get the police. That is what the Ouija told us to do. The Ouija didn't tell me to do anything. And if you two are really serious about bothering the police with all this nonsense, I'm afraid you'll have to count me out. What happened? to my faithful old dog. He'll sit right here with his keg of brandy around his neck and wait for you. Okay. Then can we borrow your car? All right. But remember, I won't have any way to get over and bail you out. There's the police station. I noticed it on our way into the car. Now that we're here, I'm not sure I have the nerve. The worst they can do is take us for a couple of crimes. I know. But the paper did say they were desperate for food. So it's our duty, beauty, right? Right. Oh, I'm still right behind you. What time is it getting to be? Going on midnight. A perfect time for a murder. Well, at least we'll be safe inside the police station. If the death sergeant doesn't kill us when we tell him why we're here. Yes, can I help you? Um... We've come about the murders. The ones that have been in the newspapers so much lately? The sidewalk slasher, you mean? Yes. Well, if it's protection you're concerned about, young ladies, I'd suggest first off that you not be out on the streets alone this time of night with what's been going on. Oh, we, we have someone with us. Uh, that is, he's waiting for us. He didn't think we should bother you with this, but we thought uh, that we should. And it's something to do with the murders? Yes. Can I have your names, please? Our names? Uh, it's routine for my entry log. Oh, yes, of course. I'm Ellie Sims, and this is Ann Benson. And that's Ann with an E. Mm. Mm. Right. Now, just what is this information you have regarding the murders? I don't know if you'd call it information, exactly. Sergeant, do you know what a Ouija board is? A Ouija board? Yes. That's where our information came from. A Ouija board? I know. You're probably thinking we're a couple of cranks. But we aren't, really. You see, I bought this Ouija board only this afternoon just for fun, and tonight after dinner we were asking it some perfectly harmless questions. Like uh, whether or not my boss was going to give me a raise. When it suddenly started giving us messages about the murderer. What kind of messages? It said, uh, find the killer. And that's all? No, no, no. That was only the first message. Then it told us to go to Clover. Which we figured out meant Clover Heights. Uh, how did you figure that? Well, uh, it was the only clover we could think of. And besides, later it said there was a school and, and an alley behind it. And a house. Just this one house behind the alley. I see. Uh, the Ouija board also told us to uh, get the police. Mm, it did. Yes, it did. Anyway, we thought we should come and relate all of this to you, just in case it might mean something. We, we, we didn't want to bother you or anything. Well, that's what we're here for, miss. I think maybe you better wait in the next room for a minute. But that's really all we have to tell you. Well, and my friend is waiting for us. You see, uh, he, he let us borrow his car and... Uh, we won't keep you for long. Uh, right in here, please. Someone will be right with you. What do you suppose he wants us to wait for? I don't know. Do you think we ought to telephone Bill? On TV, they always allow you one phone call. Oh, Anne, we're not under arrest. I don't think. Miss Sims? Yes. And Miss Benson? Yes. I'm Detective Lieutenant Connors. The desk sergeant told me a story. If you don't mind, I'd like to have you repeat it. Uh, about the Ouija board. I understand that's how you say that you came by the information which you relayed to the officer outside. You mean you don't believe that what we told him is the truth? Oh, but it is, Lieutenant. We were just fooling around with this silly game. Now, just a moment, Miss Benson. First of all, where did you get this, uh, what'd you call it? Ouija board, Lieutenant. It's a kind of an old-fashioned parlor game that used to be popular several years ago. Before television. Where'd you get this particular one that you were, uh, as you say, fooling around with? I bought it just this afternoon at a toy store in the shopping mall where I work. Well, what kind of work do you do? I'm the assistant manager of a bookstore. 
But I don't see why that... And you, Miss Benson? Uh, I'm a secretary for an advertising firm. And you were asking this uh, Ouija board a question about your job, right? How did you know... Oh, <laughs> I guess I must have mentioned that to the desk sergeant. Yes, uh, I was asking it if um, I was going to get a raise. Well, did it answer you? No, it uh, started giving us these other messages instead. What are the messages? Can you remember them exactly? Yes, of course. The first thing it said was, find the killer. And you assumed this meant the so-called sidewalk slasher. Well, what other killer could it mean, Lieutenant? Those awful murders are all we've been reading and hearing about lately. And I just brought a newspaper home with the story of the latest murder on the front page. Mm, okay. So then did you ask this Ouija board where you were supposed to find the killer? Mm, not exactly. We only asked if it had any further message. And it did. It spelled out, go to Clover. Just Clover, not Clover Heights? That's right. But Clover Heights was the only Clover we could think of. Mm. All right, uh, then what? The next message after that was, uh, get the police. Which brought you here? No. Uh, I mean, not right away. That is, we thought it was all too vague. So we asked Ouija, I mean the Ouija board, to be more specific. About what? About where in Clover Heights the killer was to be found. And was Ouija specific at this point? Yes. Oh. That is, it spelled out three clues, you might say. Which were? School, alley, house. Uh, I see. Anything else? No. That's when we decided to drive over to Clover Heights just to see if there was a school with an alley near it and a house. And there was. So then we thought that maybe we should come here and report all of this in case it would be of any interest to you. I assure you, it's of interest to us, Miss Sims. It is? Yes, in fact, I'm going to ask you both to accompany me to the location you've described. But, uh, is that necessary? I mean, we didn't think... You didn't it... think what, Miss Sims? That we were going to take your story seriously? We weren't sure, but I guess we didn't really think you'd take it this seriously. Well, after all, Lieutenant, uh, the Ouija board is just a game. But murder is not, Miss Benson. Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. You've heard it said, Smitty's, putting it all together just for you. Now that's not a slogan, it's a fact. Smitty's team of qualified experts are trained to select the best buys that continually offer the value you've come to depend upon. This week's Smitty's feature from the meat department is tender succulent cross rib roast, only $1.79 a pound. You'll want to buy an extra large roast so you can enjoy really good roast beef sandwiches too. Another great meat buy this week at Smitty's is Cudahy Bar S Smoke Picnics, only 79 cents a pound. And while you're at the meat department, choose some tasty fish for another family treat. You'll love the fresh Dover Soul Fillets. This week, only $2.99 a pound. See why more people prefer to shop Smitty's. You'll enjoy the selection and Smitty's low prices. and feel good, then listen to Cool Radio 96 afternoons on the Joe McNamara Show. Joe is on from 2 to 6 every afternoon, Monday through Friday. Now, we could tell you about the music, the news, and the special traffic reports, but that really wouldn't do justice to the show. We'd like for you to be the judge and the jury. Tune in and hear the Joe McNamara Show. You'll find out how Joe adds a dash of flavor to your listening with his unusual sense of humor. You can be happy and feel good when you listen to the Joe McNamara Show on Cool Radio 96. That's Joe McNamara, 2 to 6 weekdays on Cool.
Is this the house you were referring to? Yes, Lieutenant. That is, it's the only house beside the alley. So we thought that it must be the one. According to this information you received? Yes. Uh, you two wait here a minute. Oh, Lieutenant. I'll be right back. Oh. Uh, I, I, I didn't even want to come anywhere near this alley again. Even escorted by a detective. Funny. When we drove through here with Bill, he kept saying he felt the presence of a policeman. Poor Bill. He, he's, he's going to be so worried about us. Whatever we're here for shouldn't take too long. What are we here for, do you suppose? To wait while Lieutenant Connors checks out that house, I guess. Do you think he doesn't believe us? About the Ouija board, I mean. I don't know. But he seems to be taking our information seriously. However he thinks we got it. Where did he go? I don't know. It's too dark to see. Oh, I wish he'd hurry up and come back. Oh, I think I hear him coming now. Are you sure it's him? Quick, lock your door just in case. I can't find the box. Neither can I. Oh, Lieutenant, it is you. Oh, it's so dark out there. We couldn't be sure. The house is vacant. I'm going to look around. You both better come with me. Yes. I don't want to sit out here in this alley any longer. Neither do I. But I don't much want to go inside that house, either. This way. You don't have any choice. In here. caretaker house at the time of the, the school was put up. I wonder how long it's been empty. I'm not sure that it is. What do you mean? A sleeping bag rolled up in the corner over there. <gasps> Nothing more than that, just a bedroll. I suppose he's here, right now. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Hold on. Let me check out this closet. And I thought it was someone standing. Oh, there. I felt worse than that. No labels, nothing in the pockets. Something off the second hand rack at a Goodwill store, I'd guess. You two can wait here if you want. I'm going to check out the other rooms. No, thanks. We're speaking right with you, Lieutenant, if you don't mind. Especially since there's only your flashlight to see by. All right, come on then. and the bedroll's still here, but more likely he's sleeping it off in a drunk tank someplace. But you are going to try and find him and question him, aren't you, Lieutenant? After all, he could very well be the killer, couldn't he? You mean just as your Ouija board indicated, right? I know it sounds unlikely to you, Lieutenant Cummings, no, Mrs. But... it doesn't sound unlikely to me at all. That is, the transient who's been shacked up in this house could be the killer. Then the Ouija board might be right. We have, in fact, had this man under surveillance for some time now. But I don't understand, Lieutenant. Then why did you bring us here just to conduct this pretense of an investigation? The existence of this suspect and this area of investigation haven't been mentioned in any newspaper account, Miss Sims. So what I'd like to hear from you right now is a reasonable explanation of how you secured your information. But we told you, Lieutenant. I said a reasonable explanation, Miss Fenson. But what we told you is the truth, Lieutenant Connors, and I still don't understand why you brought us here to this house where a man who is a suspect is... Was a suspect, Miss Sims. At the time of the latest sidewalk slashing, we had our transient friend in actual custody on a minor charge. But what about the time of the other murders? He has alibis which appear to hold water. We now consider him in the clear. Then why were you interested in our story at all, Lieutenant? If it was old news to you, if you'd already checked out this house and everything. There are two other developments which have also been withheld from the newspapers, which make your coming into our precinct tonight with this story of yours. 
seems something more than coincidence. What are those two developments, Lieutenant? The body of the Slash's latest victim. It was found right here in this alley. Oh, oh, no, no wonder I have such an awful feeling about this place. Oh, Lieutenant, can we get away from here, please? Um, the other development, Lieutenant Connors? There is the indication of a possible involvement in this case by a member of our own department. Oh, you mean... Lieutenant, are you saying that the killer might actually be a police officer? <laughs> you both appear to find it hard to believe that an officer of the law could be subject to the same human flaws as any other man. Yes, I, I suppose so. Oh, my God. Uh, tell God. me, uh... The latest murder victim found at this location, Cynthia Baker. Are you certain neither of you were acquainted with her? Yes, th that is, I wasn't, and I'm sure... I, I wasn't either, Lieutenant. She worked as a secretary to Miss Fence. Yes, yes, I read that in the paper. All of the victims, they were young women of approximately the same age as yourself. Yes, we know. Unwisely venturing out on the city streets at night, alone... As you, too, did this evening. But we were only trying to... Assist the police in their bumbling attempts to solve these horrendous crimes. <laughs> yes, of course. Lieutenant Connors, you should remember that the death sergeant knows that you brought us here. That's right, Lieutenant. Yes. Of course. I'd better be getting you back to the station now. to go in for a minute. The sergeant will need you to sign his report. Then will we be free to leave, Lieutenant? I still don't buy your story of being brought here tonight by some kind of mumbo-jumbo. I have no cause to detain you any further. Which way do we go? Uh, this way. Now that door over there leads from the underground garage into the station. The uh, lobby's right through that door at the end of the hall. I have to get back to do some work in my office. Thank you, Lieutenant. Good night. Good night. Oh, Ellie, let's get out here as quickly as we can. <laughs> Connors just buzzed me from his office. Uh, you're to sign my report. Yes. And then I suggest you both get right home and in off the streets as soon as possible. Don't worry. We will. Good night, Sergeant. Now, take care now. <laughs> Ellie, I could have sworn that Lieutenant Connors back in that house in the alley. He acted so strange. No. Do you think the killer could be a policeman? Let's just get in the car and get away from here. All right. <sighs> I never want anything to do with a Ouija board again. Oh, I hope my old faithful dog is not get enough on us again. Don't move or scream, either of you. I have a knife poised at the back of one of your lovely necks. Oh, Lieutenant Connors. Oh, I'm so sorry. As a police officer, I should have cautioned you... Before getting into your car, particularly on a dark, lonely night, always make sure that no one is waiting for you in the back seat. Lieutenant, please. Stop the car, Miss Benson. And drive until I tell you to stop. <laughs> Just as you were pulling away. And just in time for our headlights to catch the glint of that knife at your neck. It was chancy, but the quickest thing we could think of to do. Thank goodness it worked. Bill, that man with the knife, he's a police officer. He got away. No. The cabbie brought him down with the best flying tackle I've ever seen. Oh, Bill, it's so lucky you came. How did you happen to come just at the right time? 
It was closing time. I got locked out of the bar. <laughs> I hope you two have learned your lesson from this. No more messing around with the occult. Right? Right. I'm even going to give up my tarot cards and go back to solitaire. But it is amazing. The Ouija board actually directed us. First, to the house of a legitimate suspect and the alley where the latest victim was found. And then, to the killer himself. I just assumed the Ouija hadn't gone that far. Wonder. You wonder what? What the Ouija board would have to say now. Oh, uh, I thought you said you were swearing off. Good night, folks. This is where I came in. Oh, stick around a few more minutes, Bill, and see what happens. We'll just give Ouija one more quick try. Come on, Anne. Well, all right. But I still think we may be tempting fate. Shh. Close your eyes and concentrate. Oh, man, here we go again. What is it, Ouija? Do you have another message for us? P, P, L, L, L. P, O, L, I, C. Police. Tell police. No. No more police tonight. Wait a minute, Bill. This might be important. Yes, yes. Maybe we'll need to borrow your car again. B L U C Blood. Blood. Phonetic spelling again, remember? Tell police blood O N on. Tell police blood on. What? I don't want to know. No more Ouija. I love to eat. But it takes so long to cook. That's why we both love our new Kenmore microwave oven from Sears. I can cook a five-pound roast medium rare in just 30 minutes. Or three strips of bacon in three and a half minutes on a paper plate. Bake two potatoes in eight minutes and cook vegetables faster than boiling them in water. That means less time in the kitchen. And more with you. Fast, clean, cool cooking with Sears Kenmore microwave ovens, all with automatic defrost. Choose the right model for your kitchen from the many styles available at most Sears retail stores. Sarge, this is Officer Murray. Women carrying babies have been going into Sears all day long. All week long, Officer. What? It's Baby Week at Sears, Murray. A great time for play suits, snap side shirts, play pens, Jenny Lynn baby furniture, blankets, and a whole lot more. Mothers and mothers to be shop Sears all during Baby Week. Come on, Sarge. How come you know all this? Because my wife and Sarge Jr. are probably at Sears right now. Because Sears has baby buys bundled up. <laughs> Can't believe you owe the IRS that much? Well, when things just don't add up, you can count on a Sears desk calculator to help you add up what you don't owe. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide, then read the figures two different ways. 12-digit display or tape printout. There's a two-memory system that helps ease multi-step problems. Plus, its many extras make it a great time saver. Sears two-memory desk calculator now cut $25, just $99.99 through March 10th at most Sears retail stores. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. When I need advice, I go to my mom. Why not? It's free. Now that I'm married and moving into a new house, I want all the advice I can get. So when mom says shop Sears, I listen. You should. Sears is a great help on those big items you'll need for your new home. Major appliances like washers, dryers, and refrigerators. They'll deliver, install, and service. I always depend on Sears. You should, too. to Sears Radio Theater. Brought to you five nights a week by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops. The Ouija Spells Murder was written by Shirley Gordon. Produced and directed by Elliot Lewis.